This circuit board goes with the electronic matching game featured in one of my videos. Many of the materials for the circuit board can be purchased at a hardware store, home center, or electronics hobby shop. Get a piece of wood large enough to accommodate all the components and small enough to fit in the middle of your electronic matching game. I've dismantled the circuit board, so that's why this one already has holes for screws. This particular board is 8 inches by 5 and a quarter inches by 1 inch thick. Sand the board and stain or paint it as desired, then let it dry. Take two lengths of 22 AWG insulated wire and strip the insulation from both ends. You can use a wire stripper. Or you can use a single edge razor or a small craft knife. Always push the knife away from you. Use an E10 lamp base for your light bulb. Some lamp bases come with screw terminals and others with soldering terminals. If you have screw terminals, loop one end of each wire, then slip each looped end under a nut and tighten. If you have soldering terminals, loop the ends of each wire, then slip them through the holes. Twist the wires so they will stay securely in place. Soldering the wires to the terminals will make the connection stronger, but soldering is optional. Pre-mark the screw holes for each component, including the lamp base, with a pencil, and use a small drill bit or make a hole with a small nail so the screw will go into the wood. Use small screws to attach the bulb holder to the board. Screw a piezo buzzer to your board. It's spelled P-I-E-Z-O. Sometimes the word is pronounced piezo. You can use any size one and a half volt battery holder. This one accommodates a C size battery. You can use one that accommodates a D battery. We're going to use one designed for a double A battery. This battery holder already has two holes to accommodate screws. If yours doesn't, you might be able to drill some. Screw the battery holder in place. Make sure the screw heads are tight to the base of the battery holder so they don't keep the battery from properly seating in the holder or keep the battery from connecting to the terminals. Take one wire each from the battery holder, the buzzer, and the bulb holder and connect them by twisting them together. I'm connecting the red and red and black striped wires from each device for convenience and identification. Soldering helps keep them together, but soldering is optional. Wrap a small piece of electrical tape clockwise around the bared wires. Finish the connection by capping the wires with a small wire nut. Twist it on clockwise. Use a standard three-way light switch. Find the common terminal. This is usually the bottom screw on the side with two screws or is indicated by a darker colored screw. Strip the insulation from the ends of a foot long length of 22 AWG wire. Loop one end and attach it to the common terminal. Make sure the loop is facing clockwise. This will help keep it in place as you tighten the screw. Next, loop the end of the unattached wire on the buzzer and screw it to the brass color terminal on the other side of the light switch. Then loop the end of the unattached wire on the bulb holder and screw it to the brass color terminal on the side of the light switch with the common terminal. Now screw the light switch in place. I'm using some old drywall screws. I'm using a total of three screws to make sure the switch stays firmly in place.
On the end of the unattached wire on the battery holder, connect another foot long length of 22 AWG wire, ends bared, by twisting the bare ends together. A little solder will help keep the wires together. Wrap a short piece of electrical tape around the bare wire. Wrap the bare end of the connected wire around the small end of a paper clip. Then solder the connection. Soldering is optional, but will make a stronger connection. Wrap the connection with electrical tape. Do the same with the foot long length of wire extending from the common terminal on the light switch. Put a battery in the battery holder. Put a threaded bulb designed for an E10 lamp base into the bulb holder. The bulbs might come in different shapes, but that shouldn't matter. Test by touching the paper clips together. You should hear a buzz or see the bulb turn on. Flip the switch and the opposite device should work. If something doesn't work, you probably have a loose connection, burned out bulb, burned out battery, or broken buzzer. Let's see, 3 times 9, that would be 27, yes, the light goes off, not 12. A cat likes, hmm, let's see, would a cat like water, no, buttons, no, fish, yes, yes, 